performance status is always key. Anything I do is not gonna make it better, per se, at least in the short term. And so if they have a very limited performance status at baseline because of their tumor disease, it's gonna be hard for me to make that better with an aggressive local therapy. So in that scenario, I might recommend therapy. And then we can always consolidate it if their performance status improves as they get tumor shrinkage. I think that depends on why their performance status is poor. Are That's you tired? Point. Are you constantly throwing up because of tumor burden, because of HCC, pretty extensive, then hopefully once I start on treatment, you magically feel better. Or if it's you're chronically with so many comorbidities, you're just not a healthy person, then if you're weak at baseline, not because of the cancer, then my treatments likely make you even weaker. I know as medical oncologists, you have your clinic days, you have outpatient visits, not all IRs do. And I think this is a big plug-in for if you're going to really be doing oncology and interventional oncology, you really should be seeing these patients in a clinic setting. You should be meeting them because a lot of referment status comes from talking to the patient or their caregivers. So I think that's a very important thing if you're going to be 